up YouTube? We got another very special gun right here it's for our gun porn channel. So uh, what do we got here, my friend? Um, today we got the uh, Springfield M1A. And um, of course it doesn't look like an M1A. I put a Troy MCS chassis on here. It's the SOCOM 16 inch barrel and uh, Troy flipped up battle sights. And these, these are, are the micro. The micros are a little yeah. smaller. Uh, Magpul ACS, Magpul ACS stock. Put a hogue grip, angled foregrip. And, uh, yeah, you look like a uh, Rambo. <laughs> that is pretty bad. We're going to go shoot it for the first time today. So, when you bought the chassis, it only came with the chassis, right? Yeah, you could buy it with everything, but I wanted to put my own, choose my own stock and my own grip. Yeah. So I bought the bare chassis. So you actually had to put on the buffer tube. I had to put a buffer castle tube. Castle nut. And castle nut and plate. There's no buffer spring or yes. buffer in there. So basically with the M1A, you have the uh, piston riding underneath. So it's yeah. basically just the full, you got Pretty it as a spring M1A film. and an AR platform. Yeah. And according to the Troy website, this buffer tube is a little bit higher than the the Bo barrel, so axis, yeah. it virtually eliminates muzzle rise. And that's really important with the 308 caliber. It is a beautiful gun. So did you have to uh, pull out any gold teeth and sell them to buy this? <laughs> Pretty much. All right, bitches. All right, now we're gonna break this bitch down. Here, the last one. Pull the oh, pin. My pin is a little stiff, so I don't know. Maybe it's also the crab thing. Uh, the trigger group mm -hmm. comes out like any other M1A. Pinning is pulled out, and then the upper and lower just split. Oh, that's the lower. And the upper. Got a piston, yeah. Yeah. So bad mama jamo. Okay. We could even take this apart real yeah, fast geez, for you. Yeah. It's very gentlemanly of you. That's the spring, spring guide. Once you get that out. Pretty crazy, yeah. Just roll our thing on it. And that's fill stripped. That's it. Nice. Uh, to take the piston out, it just takes a 3 8 right here and you pop this off and your piston comes right comes out. out front way, so. I think you're supposed to clean that like every 300 rounds or so. That's it. Let's put it back together. Quick reassembly. This thing can be tricky to put back in. The trick is this silver notch right here. Yeah. You got to get that in first, right in this area. And if you don't know that, you're struggling to get this thing in. But if you know it, look at that, it just falls in. Well, it's harder because of the new chassis. No, no, no. But that's just Even common for M1A. Yeah. Yeah. Without knowing that trick, 
uh, the first time I did that, I was like 20, 10, 20 minutes. It's like trying to put, you know. Yeah, I got you. It's great. This one. And I learned all this from a YouTube video. The guy that I got this gun from, my FFL, he actually told me the best manual for field stripping this is a video on YouTube. Oh, I forgot the guy's name, but he was right. He was really clear. That is the original piston gun, <laughs> pretty much.